everybody, I hope that you are well. My name is Christiane and this is Backpacking Bananas. If you think I'm sitting weirdly right now, that's because I very much am. Uh, we've woken up in the town of Chiang Rai in Thailand. We've spent the past week or so in Chiang Mai and Pai. Yesterday we got the bus, which I believe was around 200 baht from Chiang Mai to Chiang Rai. Basically, I've woken up this morning to get to the point and I have the world's stiffest neck slash shoulder. I don't know if I slept weirdly on this bed last night, but I can't move. I feel very paralyzed. That really hurts. And like random positions really, really hurt. I don't even know what the issue is. I don't know whether to go for a Thai massage because I don't know if that's gonna help. I'm just gonna try and get through the day and hope that it just loosens itself up a little bit but if not maybe i will try going for a massage there's construction work going on at this hostel at the moment we've decided to stay in happy nest hostel which is absolutely beautiful and i will give you a tour a little bit later on but first things first we're renting a scooter i'm traveling with my boyfriend jeremy and that's exactly what he's doing right now is getting the scooter while I'm crippled up in the room. I have taken a painkiller. I'm gonna try and put on a brave face to start exploring uh, in the town city of Chiang Rai. I've never been here before. I've never been to this part of Thailand. How much was the scooter? 250. 250 for 24 hours? Mm -hmm. Okay. 250 baht for a 24 hour scooter rental here. That seems to be about the standard. It was quite a lot cheaper in Pai, but in Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, that seems to be about the standard price. Is this it? Oh, she's big and she's yellow, like a big bumblebee. Oh, and green helmets, lovely. I didn't film any of that scooter ride because it was just mainly down the highway. We were going very, very fast. I don't know how he did it without any, even like glasses on. I was on the back just closing my eyes because of the wind. But anyway, we made it to our first place of exploration, which is, I believe without a doubt, the most touristic and nice thing to do here in Chiang Rai and that is to see the White Temple. I did read about this online. In the White Temple there's obviously everything's white but they also have this Star Wars Matrix theme going on as well which is very unique. Exhibit A. More of a closer link to maybe the Transformers. I don't know I feel like we need some we need some information here tickets to visit the main temple is a hundred baht. There's a special entrance for foreigners. We went through the foreigner entrance. Everyone else seems to be going through the local entrance and they're not getting tickets. This is a guess but I think it's free for locals and then just foreigners have to pay a hundred baht for entry. This is really really freaky. Oh, look at that. It's the boobs for me. Amazing. Look at this. Even the arrows, the directions are white. What, what is it? Hmm? A very quick experience for a hundred baht. I'd say it was worth it. It was really nice to go in there. So, so beautiful. I think it's a newer temple. It's not a super old one which lessens its impressiveness, but it is impressive nonetheless. According to Jeremy and his facts, it should have been finished in 2008, but it's actually not now going to be finished until 2070. In 50 years time, it will be finished. It doesn't look like it's under construction. Perhaps the surrounding area still very much is under construction. Do you recognize any of these characters? My shoulder still feels pretty bad. I am blaming it on the street food that I had last night. So when we arrived, we went straight to the night bazaar, which unfortunately, and I think it's due to COVID, there was not very many people at this night bazaar at all. It was very quiet. A lot of the shops were closed. So that was unfortunate, but there was still a few things open. And I saw that there was this fried chicken, which looked quite nice. And then when I had it, it was chicken tendons when i don't know if you know 
but that is literally that white, gristly, tough bit of the chicken that no one wants to eat. It was that fried. And so it was awful. It was absolutely grim. I've never had that in my life and I'm never ever ordering it again. Ever since then, I've just felt not great. No, that's probably not linked to my shoulder, but that, that is what I'm blaming it on. I have stuck to something which I am familiar with uh, for this meal and I've gone with cow soy, which I think I mentioned in a previous vlog in Pai. It's a specialty in Northern Thailand. And the best way I can describe it is it's like a noodle soup with curry spices. And you have like a whole chicken wing in there and it's a bit spicy and they do like crispy noodles on top as well. It's really, really good. And since we're only in Northern Thailand for a few more days, I really want to get it as much as I can because I know that I'm not really going to be able to get it when I'm down in the island. So we're leaving the area of the White Temple now. And we did read online that it's better to visit in the morning because of the light. And we can already see now that it's the early afternoon, it looks more like the grey temple rather than the white temple. Just, I think just because of the way the sun has moved, can definitely confirm that that is a good tip if you are visiting the white temple to definitely come in the morning because then you have the sun hitting it in a beautiful way where it's silver and white and just looks absolutely its best. This road is so, so, so beautiful. Jeremy's a lucky boy for driving. I can't drive today. Hopefully I can tomorrow, but because of my neck, I can't, I can't turn it more than this, which is why I can't drive today, which is very sad. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully tomorrow I feel better. A beautiful 25 minute scooter drive later, we've arrived in the National Park and it's just stunning. We've had to park our scooter just over there at the Kung Korn Ranger Station, but where we are off to is the Kung Korn Forest Park Waterfall. I think that's what it's called. I think there's a small hike to get there, probably not very long, but it all seems mapped out quite nicely. I guess that's because it's in a national park and we did actually have to sign in along the road um, just saying that we were coming in, like we just put our name and number and stuff. We didn't have to pay anything. Swimming area there, beautiful. Here we go, Kung Korn Waterfall Nature Trail. because I'm feeling sweaty like a sweaty Regina George on her prom night <laughs> getting rained on by the waterfall we've just been getting some photos here I'll put them in now I am positively soaking now, <laughs> but that was so worth it. We were both saying we definitely would have gone for a swim if we at least just had a towel on us, but we didn't know. We didn't basically come prepared today, but if I could give you any recommendation for coming to Kun Korn Waterfall, it would be to wear your swimmers and bring a towel because it would have been super, super cool to swim in there. But I fully enjoyed getting soaked by it on the sidelines anyway. Okay, so we've just rocked up at our next attraction of the day, probably our final one, to be honest. It's called Singer Park. And on first impressions, honestly, I'm not quite sure what to make of it. <laughs> There's uh, just a whole bunch of various attractions. It looks cool. And a lot of people are walking around taking photos, but no one's actually sitting down and enjoying what's actually here. So like here you have a bunch of cool looking food trucks. There's like cool signage and lights. You've got like a coffee van with Santa sitting on top. Up behind me, I don't know if you can see, this is a zip line. Someone's gonna do it now. 
fantastic. We've been wanting to see someone do the zip line. <laughs> Here is like a tourist van of some description. Honestly, your guess is as good as mine what the purpose of this park is. I mean, oh, another person's on the zip line. They're having a great time. Um, is it just an amusement park? Is it just somewhere that you come for fun? We're not too sure. Here we go, here's some information. So you can do an ATV tour for 800 baht. You could do an adventure rope course, though I'm assuming that means it's not available right now, maybe? I don't know. Uh, the zip line is 300 baht per person. Rock climbing, 150 baht per person. E-scooter, 300. Do you want to go around on scooters? No. Oh. Well, that's my idea of a fun afternoon shut down then. <laughs> we found this lovely little massage station and he said he's going to give me a 10 minute massage for free. See if we can fix the Regina George pain in my neck. We'll give it a go. I hope, I hope it helps because I can't. Oh, I really liked it when he was doing that wooden thing. I don't know what that's called, but that felt very, very nice. It's definitely loosened up a bit. I bought some of the uh, ointment that he used, some of this stuff here. I bought some, it was 120 baht. Also, I just wanted to give back because he gave me a 10 minute massage for free, which was very, very kind. I believe it's like some kind of hot oil which helps with body pain. So I might get uh, Jeremy to give me another little uh, neck slash shoulder massage tonight using that and see if I can release any more tension and pain in my Regina George neck, which is what I am now calling it. And now um, Jeremy's getting a little massage on his knee, lovely. So Adika. Oh. <laughs> this lake is absolutely gorgeous. And it looks like you can go on like peddlers over there. I'm gonna go inquire about the cost because I think that would be quite peaceful. So we've got in one of these peddlers. There is zero staff here and we've come close to them. No staff has told us to leave. So we're just assuming that they're free. Just no one else is using them. Stay tuned to see if we get told off and kicked out of this park. Jeremy's just untying us and then you get in. Imagine if they're just props and they're not actually real pedalos. Maybe they are broken. What, and we're gonna sink? <laughs> what? I think we need to be pushed away. Yeah, maybe. Do you wanna push us away? Let's just give us a good push. Whoppa. Oh my God. <laughs> we're just gonna go into that one. What does this do? Can we, how can we turn? I don't know. The, yeah, this right. only goes forwards and back. You sure? That goes left, okay. <laughs> this one? No, no, in, okay, so we need to go forwards and then back like this. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe if we keep going back. Yeah, like that. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna die. I think the most that's gonna happen is that we're gonna get told off and that we might get stuck in the middle of the lake. Okay, yeah, we'll keep going back. Yeah, that's it. That's good. I still don't understand. It. No, neither do I. <laughs> oh, this is really funny. Because we haven't figured out what this does yet. Because that's only forward and back. Are we going to go? Are we going forwards now? Yes. All right. This is an exhausting time on the lake. No one's told us off yet, so I'm assuming that it's fully allowed just to grab a pedalo for free. Yeah, no one's shouting at us as far as we are aware. So I, I'm assuming we're okay. Let's go to Kosamui. Okay, someone came over and told us that um, it was not open. So we, uh, so we pedaloed back to shore. And well, that's the end of that. We feel lucky that we had the experience that we did, but we did break the rules, but they're not charging us any money. We didn't break anything. We didn't hurt anyone or ourselves. So I think, I think we got away with it. I think we got away with having a little pedal ride. <laughs> well done us. There's also this gorgeous like pink flower field, which also seems like it's part of the Singer Park. We don't feel the need to go in there. I don't think I need any photos in a field of pink flowers. 
that's there and we're leaving the park now we're gonna head back into the city but Jeremy has noted a temple that's along the way so we're gonna have a little look at that on the way back well we really put the scooter through its paces on the last part of that drive it was just constant uphill but we have arrived at the temple Jeremy wanted to visit called Wat Thrapat Doi Kau Kwei. It's right here and look at the view. Everybody. It's another day in Chiang Rai. I had a very early night last night and tried to sleep as like straight as possible and I feel better. Not perfect. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just very stiff and tense here but it doesn't feel muscular. It feels more like a strain. Uh, very kindly Jeremy gave me a, a, a little bit of his own version of a shoulder massage this morning using the uh, the special stuff that the masseuse sold to us yesterday. So I'm hoping that makes it a little bit looser. On the whole, I am feeling better though, which is good news. The bad news is the weather is not very good today. We have our whole entire last day in Chiang Rai today. And so we were gonna do some exploration, but because the weather is kind of gray and rainy, we're just gonna take it a little bit slower. And we are going to go to the local shopping center because we both have a few bits that we want to get. And also we found that in the shopping centers, they have really nice food courts on the bottom with like kind of street food, but in a more civilized setting. So we'll probably go have some lunch there. But before we do that, I would like to give you a tour of this hostel because I realized that I haven't done that yet. This hostel is called Happy Nest Hostel, which is a very, very cute name. And it's on one of the main roads in Chiang Rai. It's very well located. Uh, so we have ourselves a private room. Here in our room, you've got our ensuite there. We have a shower, toilet, and toiletries area and then you walk on through to the bedroom. I am so sorry about the mess. Jeremy's just there. This is our bed. We have a little working slash coffee area and it did come with a kettle which is great. I put my cappuccino pods to good use. These like tea bags came with the room which are quite cute. Jeremy had one yesterday. I just had my cappuccino. Normally when you book a private room in a hostel they do give you towels and stuff. So sorry for all of the mess but anyway yeah air conditioning unit and this this is our room walking out of the room there's a lot of like common areas in this hostel so here is like TV space and just general area with books and whatnot that's the reception area Sadika and another chill out space where you can eat food, drink coffee, whatnot. I guess this is the kitchen area. I know they do provide breakfast in the morning with some packages, but we didn't go for that. Some bikes which you can rent. I tried using this yesterday and it did not work, so. But that's pretty much it for the hostel. As you can see, it's pretty quiet. We have seen people wandering around. I'm not too sure how full the hostel is. I haven't seen into the dorm rooms. To be honest, the whole city is not overly busy, so I'm not surprised that the hostel is not very busy, but perhaps this is somewhere that would be busy in non-COVID times. Ah, oh, they don't have a Marks and Spencers in this one. They had a central shopping center in Chiang Mai and it said that they had a Marks and Spencers and I got so excited and I went in to see if they had any Percy Pigs and then I was so disappointed that they did not. They had a space for the Percy Pigs, but apparently there was like an import delay and so they didn't actually have any in stock. Yeah, I was, uh, I was disappointed. <laughs> So I had to go back to the hostel, literally just to rest my neck after the shopping because it was just feeling tired and it like feels like I'm requiring a lot of energy to hold it up. But anyway, lay down for an hour. Now I'm feeling a little bit better and it's not raining at the moment, which is good news. So we have come to the Blue Temple. Ta-da! This is an amazing entrance for a temple. I believe this is the second most popular temple to visit in Chiang Rai after the White Temple that we went to yesterday. 
You can confirm it's blue? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> I saw this beautiful looking cafe on Google Maps which was near the Blue Temple, it's called Manorum Cafe. It's the middle of the afternoon, I feel like it's a good time for a coffee and cake so we're going to check out this place. Oh cute! I don't know if this is the way in but if you look it's on the river here. So nice! that the weather's a bit shit today because this is an absolutely beautiful part of the city and it's funny the um, architecture of uh, this cafe and a restaurant we went to last night it reminds me a lot of not that I've ever been here but some of those um, big country houses that you get in the south of America Forrest Gump style is kind of what I've got in my head and this kind of colonial style with the big big windows almost like a conservatory but so so beautiful and surrounded by so much greenery yeah there's a lot of that here it doesn't feel very Thai but it's absolutely stunning I wonder if there is a reason for this or or if there was any kind of colonizers who came here back in the day. I should probably do a little bit of research. So we're now gonna head to the Chiang Rai walking street because I think that on Google Maps when you see that it says walking street I think that's the best place to go for like all the little shops and stuff because we went to the night bazaar the other day and that was just dead so we're gonna try the walking street now Jeremy needs to get a magnet if you watch the turkey series <laughs> you may remember Jeremy likes to get a magnet in every single place that he goes to to put on his mum's fridge which is quite sweet we need to find one for Chiang Rai and then I have an idea of where we're gonna go for dinner tonight Night, just somewhere which I saw was recommended as quite nice Thai food on uh, TripAdvisor. And so ends another vlog. We are at Chiang Rai International Airport. However, we are just going to be flying domestically. Right now is the end of our journey in Northern Thailand. It's been very, very fun, very, very nice, but I can say that I am well and truly very much looking forward to exploring the islands down south. So right now we are waiting for a flight to Bangkok. We're going to be in Bangkok for just a couple of hours just staying in the airport and then we're going to be flying down to Suratani to get a ferry to Koh Samui. The next vlog, I don't think it's going to be in Koh Samui because I'm going to make a vlog of us trying to extend our visas in Suratani because we would like to stay in Thailand for 60 days and our current visa situation is just 30 days. I'll let you know how that goes and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!